Each year, 1.6 million tons of rice husk is produced by the Cambodian rice milling industry. Most of this is destroyed or left to decompose in the methane. If just 20,000 tons of this waste was converted to energy, it would replace over 4.5 million litres of diesel. This would add almost $3 million to the rice value chain and individual millers would be able to make an extra $136 profit from a single tonne of fragrant rice. The efforts that have been going on since the, the troublesome times that Cambodia lived through have paid dividends in the sense that uh, rice varieties and rice yields and rice production has increased from 1970 levels up until two or three times that today, which puts Cambodia as a whole in a surplus position and now have an opportunity to sell that surplus and collect the dividends from that. Under the anything but arms policy, Cambodia benefits from duty-free exports of rice to the European Union. This has seen Cambodian millers' exports of rice to the world's largest single market grow from just 2,000 tonnes in 2006 to a 180,000 tonne peak in 2012. Asia is becoming the kind of factory of the world. And obviously uh, Asia is facing a, a very fast uh, economic growth now. Cambodia is a good example of it. Obviously economic growth means also challenges and one of them is to make sure that this economic growth is sustainable. So the sector is booming. But sector booming mean, meaning also that the sector has to adapt and to become also more uh, competitive with Vietnam and, uh, and Thailand. This entails uh, moving from uh, what had been a fairly straightforward, mostly labor-intensive activity where literally hundreds of people would be gathered together at times of seeding and planting and also again at harvest in most biblical images of people with hand tools cutting rice and harvesting it, threshing it by beating it on boards and winnowing it in the wind. Um, these are techniques that have been up, used for thousands of years. The mechanization requires that we make this whole process uh, more efficient and more timely, all of which means machinery is being introduced and the more mechanical inputs we have, the more energy you require. Founded in 1965, SMV, the Netherlands Development Organization, has established projects in 38 countries in Asia, Africa and South and Central America. Cambodia's rice husk gasification project is one of the 65 renewable energy projects that span 28 countries that with SMV support has seen 390 client organizations profiting from improved performance and strengthened supply chains. the years we, uh, we got uh, more focus and uh, nowadays we focus on three sectors and uh, we have a number of more uh, innovative areas uh, of which one is, is the waste to energy uh, where rice husk is used to, to generate uh, energy for the rice mills. The SNV switch program has been introduced at an important moment of, of this transition that's going on. In Cambodia we only have a limited amount of grid electrical distribution and even that is at relatively high prices compared to neighboring countries. In a lot of the country though there isn't even any grid power and so an enterprise must generate its own power most often using diesel fuel and diesel generation. This is a very expensive way to generate power. One of the devices that can be a, a, an important part of that is to introduce biomass gasification. A gasification process allows us to turn what has been a waste product into usable energy. ខ្ញុំក៏បានទិញលោកជាអនុយោមមកប្រើប្រាស់ហើយមុនដំបូងយល់ដឹងហើយខ្ញុំប្រើទៅមានជោគជ័យស្រួលខ្ញុំឲ
chiên bàn tụm nếp chiên môn tàu vận tích để hay chiếm kê chân ai tam sắp ngay nâng để khăn nông đầm râu ca đèn co nơm chênh tàu bò đặc tì nâng bàn mùi chùm nôn thông hơi. A gasifier is a piece of equipment that we can convert rice husk, which is generally a, a waste product from the rice milling uh, activity, into energy that can then be used by the miller to reduce his cost of processing. It does that by burning the biomass in a closed chamber, and it converts that material into a combustible gas. It is a, a technique that is very effective uh, to produce um, a, an energy level that can be introduced into a diesel engine and substitute 70% of the diesel fuel. Or it can be ent entered into a gas engine and uh, completely eliminate the cost of diesel. The production becomes cleaner. It becomes also more competitive. That means that the people using this te technology directly, the rice millers, their businesses, they can grow, they can expand, they, they can attract more employees and they can also uh, uh, process the rice of, of, of more uh, rice farmers. So in the end, uh, more people benefit from this. It, it's, it means just uh, a, a growing business, more employment, more jobs, and more income for the wider circle of people. But Cambodia, because it has a head start in, in gasifying rice husks more than almost any country, it, in this one respect, is in the lead. Um, more so than Thailand, more so than Vietnam or Malaysia, um, because they've been at attending to other energy uh, uh, factors than, than Cambodia. So it puts Cambodia now in a, in a position of, of being able to think about being a leader um, in this sector. And I think in that sense, SNB has seen that the longer term potential is to, is to focus on that goal. So I think this is also a, a forward looking um, investment so that Cambodia will continue to uh, explore and develop the gasifier technology.